Hi, I'm Justin with Top Don, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the BT600 battery tester. Here's what comes in the box. You'll get a Top Don zip-up case with a handle, keep everything nice and organized. Inside, you'll have a Top Don quick user guide, along with the BT600 user manual. It includes three rolls of thermal paper for printing your test results off. You'll also receive a USB cable, and that is for the top of the unit to be able to update the firmware on a PC. And then finally, your cables that include a hook and loop strap to be able to keep your cords nice, neat, and organized. Now let's go hook this up to the car and I'll show you some of the features. Okay, so we are working with a Group 94R battery and it is 790 cold cranking amps. We'll be using those figures to put into the tool. But first, we're gonna go ahead and hook this thing up. Once you hook up your battery, it's going to give you your voltage readout and then take you into the main menu. On the main menu, you can do a battery test, a cranking or charging test. You can also review any previous tests that you have done, and then you can change the language of the device. But we're gonna go into battery test. This is a regular flooded battery. You can do AGM, gel, or EFB. And then these are all the different standards um, worldwide. And we're gonna use CCA, because that's how this battery is rated. And it is at 790. You can toggle up and down through them but this is 790, we'll go ahead and hit enter and it'll be again testing. It's a very fast device. And we can see we have a good battery. We're at uh, state of health is at 100%, state of charge is at 100%. The internal resistance is 2.68 and then the 790 rated is just what you entered in at the beginning to confirm that. Now from here, you can either exit and go back or you can hit print and it will print out a copy that you can share with your customer then you can hit back and go into a cranking or charging test, which we're gonna jump into the car and perform those. But before we do that, if you hit exit again, it'll take you back to this main screen and give you your voltage readout. Just hit enter, that's gonna get you back into the main menu. So let's jump in the car and we'll do a cranking test and a charging test. Here we are in the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and do our cranking test first. We'll go ahead and select that and hit enter. It asks you to please start the engine says that the engine was detected. Shows to be a good cranking test. You've got your milliseconds of cranking time and your voltage. Go ahead and shut the car off. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do our charging test. It says to please start the engine and press enter to continue. Start the engine. We'll hit enter doing a ripple test here. Now it says increase the RPMs to 2500 and keep it there for five seconds. So we'll rev this. Let it continue. And it is charging normally. It's showing your loaded voltage and you're unloaded and then the ripple from here again we can always hit enter and that is going to print out our results for our tests and then as we go back to our main menu we can go down and go back and see our voltage here and then we can always review what we've done so we have our battery test that we completed we have our cranking test and our charging test. And at any point, again, you can hit enter and it's going to print out that report. And a quick note is that you can always hit M here and it's gonna take you back to the main menu. Now it's worth noting that the BT600 can do a lot more than what we've shown you so far in this video.